general rule under the Wildlife Act is if uh, something is not a native species, uh, i.e. starlings or yeah. uh, rabbits that people have imported to British Columbia, they're not native to here and then they let them go, uh, you don't need a permit mm -hmm. to uh, harvest those animals um, as long as you're doing it on land that you control or you own. Okay. So the, the University of Victoria is within their rights, but I've got this, uh, this might be an appropriate time to send a public service message. Uh, Easter is approaching, and I know that every year families think it might be uh, an interesting time to give their children a furry little rabbit. And I just ask people to think twice about that because those rabbits become big and eventually sometimes the children's uh, interest in those rabbits passes over time and then the, uh, the owners release those rabbits. They send them to you think. <laughs> and that contributes to the feral rabbit problem that we have, uh, not just at UVic, but in other parts of uh, British Columbia, for example, in the Kelowna region as well, uh, they're uh, wrestling with the same issue. So my request to parents, uh, think twice about buying a, a, a rabbit on impulse for your kids this Easter, because far too many of them end up getting released uh, to fend for themselves after the novelty's worn off. Yeah. And that contributes to this feral rabbit problem that we have in Victoria and elsewhere. And stay away from cats are, cats are way easier to deal with, aren't they? <laughs> How is Ranger dealing with the fame and told he's on the front page of the Toronto Star? Ranger's taking it all in stride, uh, but he has suggested that further media inquiries be directed to his agent. And, uh, Are you his agent? No. <laughs> uh, he's doing just fine. But he appreciates your interest and his well-being.